Mm -hmm. All right, it is time for Creative Futures, and right now, high school students across the state are gearing up for a national poetry competition. That sounds really cool. Well, this morning, we are joined by Tekoa Amara Atunu from the Connecticut Office of the Arts to tell us all about this awesome program. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, glad to have you back here. Thank you. So this sounds really exciting. Uh, for folks who are not familiar with this program, tell us a little bit about how it works. Yes. So Poetry Out Loud is a national poetry recitation competition, um, and students compete on a school level, and then they compete at regionals, and now we're gearing up for our state finals, which will be on March 11th, which is next Saturday. Um, and then whoever wins, uh, whoever's our finalist there, will head over to nationals in May. Um, so that's a little bit of how it works, um, and it's just a really great way to get kids like excited and into poetry, learn about some really um, wonderful works of poetry throughout history and things like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I bet this is really awesome, an awesome outlet for the kids. It may be a space for, where maybe some of your quieter students yeah. really have a space to shine and showcase their talents. Yeah, I think it's really key to helping kids build their confidence, um, which carries over to like all aspects of your mm -hmm. life. So just getting that experience of being on a stage, being able to talk to people, um, being able to be animated with your body and, and really get your message across in this like holistic way, um, I think is like, so valuable to kids. Yeah. So tell us more about, you know, how you think the students benefit from participating in this. So obviously just growing that confidence and being able to um, really like feel full when they go out into the world. I think as with all arts, um, it really helps you kind of uh, understand and digest the world and yourself, um, but also tangibly there are prizes attached to the competition. Um, so uh, folks who go to nationals can win up to twenty thousand dollars in prizes. Nice. Schools will schools of winners will also get uh, cash prizes. There are cash prizes at the state yeah. level as well. Um, so there's you know tangible uh, benefits to participating in poetry. Awesome, lot. and it's got to be an amazing feeling feeling for them to see how their words are impacting the audience, how the audience receives that. Yes, definitely. And I'm really hoping that um, folks from across the state will come out and support our young people. Um, I think it's just really powerful to see our young people just shine like that on yeah. stage. Um, and at the Bushnell of all places. Like mm -hmm. that. I just think that's so cool for these high schoolers to be uh, performing at the Bushnell. Um, and it'll also be a great way for folks who are maybe interested in like, dipping their toe in poetry out loud next season. It'll be a great way for them to get acclimated and kind of see what it's all about. Yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. Okay, now speaking of dipping your toes into this program, if you're interested, um, how can people find out more about it? Yes, um, so there's two places that you could go. Um, there's the National Poetry Out Loud website, so you can check that out if you look up Poetry Out Loud. We also have a Connecticut site that has more specific information to how we do things in the state here, which is ctythpoetry.com. So it's supposed to be CT Youth Poetry. All right. Um, without some of the vowels. Okay, got it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, and yes. good luck to all of those students. Yes, thank <laughs> you so much for having us, and good luck to the students as yeah. well. Yeah. All right, back.